Hello everybody, Darren Yaki with Echo Y Farms. I'm out standing in a pasture that was grazed off about 17 days ago. And I tell you what, the growth out here is just amazing and how big this pasture has gotten since we took the cattle off this piece. We have had adequate moisture over the last couple of weeks along with ample heat and cool nights prime growing conditions for these pastures as you can see we have some taller orchard grass that's all headed out the cattle kind of ignored that the first time through so we'll just leave that out here we'll leave that go to seed and regrow for another crop if you look down in here a little more, we have some forbs, some clovers, a whole bunch of different types of grasses that are regrowing. We're getting kind of behind currently on our pasture rotation. Right now we're doing a lot of trampling and when we were out in this paddock, the cattle were just nipping the tops off yet. But now the forage is over my waist. As you can see in the paddock next to us here, the dividing line. So the cattle worked on this part of the pasture and then we had to move them over to the other side of the center fence over across the culvert there by the ranger and now they're working their way down along the highway over by the power poles so they probably won't get back into the piece that's right in front of us for at least 10 to 14 more days and this stuff is all headed out it's getting all mature so when they get into these pieces they'll probably trample a lot of this down kind of like a rolling effect but there's beautiful forage down in here you see all that clover that's down in the sword yeah that'll be a little bit more mature too when they get over here but still a lot of good eating for these cattle ideally in spring we want to make quick rotations Maybe like every 30, 35 days at the most, we want to be between rotations. We'll probably be pushing 45 days or so before we'll get back onto some of these pieces we already grazed. But you want cattle to get fat. This is some very beautiful looking stuff out here right now. I feel like I should almost quit where I'm grazing right now and bring it back over to here to kind of keep up with at least part of the farm. The problem with this year is we held off so long this spring to get the cattle all turned out to pasture because of the cold weather we were having. It's just a really slow start to the pasture season. And now it just boomed and really took off and grew. Which always happens in spring, it just, it always catches the guy off guard. Just another peaceful evening, you hear the birds chirping. Up there we got some of our shaded paddocks. You can see some shade forming already this afternoon. There's an apple tree there. The cattle like being in some of them upper paddocks when it's hot and sunny out some of them days. Or even along the edge of the woods, you can see how much shade that wood line throws out into the pasture. We are after five o'clock now in the evening, but so when they get over here, they'll have plenty of shade to work with. We can look at this manure paddy here, I found. See what's all down in there. We have a whole bunch of 
holes in it, a lot of activity. So that's a good sign. We want them manure pads to break down. The faster they break down, the sooner them nutrients that were in that get back into our soil to feed the soil life and to help our pastures flourish. So hopefully by the next rotation, you won't see any more of them manure pads out here. They'll be all gone. We don't use any chemical wormers or anything like that because chemical wormers, they will kind of sterilize that manure pad and it's kind of a dead zone. It won't break down as good as it should and we're trying to do things uh, all natural ray right, and not use any wormers at all. It's been working for us for quite a few years. We've been off the wormy, wormers. Just a lot of pasture and a short time to get through it, they always say, but if I could walk out there, there's probably some ground nesting birds somewhere have a nest out there pretty soon here. A lot of times the red winged blackbirds will build nests in this tall grass. And that's another reason sometimes just leave some areas get a little taller promoting habitat for the birds and a lot of times we'll see some fawns running around out here. Well this is great hiding areas for the does to uh, keep their fawns hidden from predators as well. You got some bumblebees out here. See that guy in that little white clover plant buzzing around. So there's a lot of things that a guy can't see down in the sward of grass. A lot of beneficials doing their job. If we only could count all the critters that are actually out here in these pastures, one would really be amazed. It's not a beautiful, peaceful evening otherwise. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. We'll catch you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and like.